Hey, Dark Horse Nation. Hope you guys have had a great day today. I really hadn't planned on doing a video tonight, uh, especially a, an outdoor video. Uh, seemed like uh, there wasn't too many people interested in, uh, in the nighttime videos here. But I'm sitting up here at my old swing and I'm listening to the nighttime sounds the cicadas, the crickets, the, I mean, everything is making a wonderful, beautiful sound in nature. That's what I'm listening to, you know? And, you know, Wednesdays, uh, I'm, a, I'm human like everybody else, and I have my favorite, uh, you know, TV shows and all that, and, you know, I've, I've been a big fan of, uh, Chicago uh, Fire and Chicago PD and Chicago Med for years. And uh, so I told myself, well, let me go see what it is first. And uh, if it's a rerun, I'm going to come right back out here. And I'm going to sit out here and listen to the nighttime sounds, you guys. And look at these old pine trees right here. And... Uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, to me, you know, ever since I come down with cancer, guys, you know, life is, uh, is special to me, you know, and, uh, I've learned not to take any single thing for granted at all, you know what I mean? I enjoy the simplest things now. You know, before I just didn't give a crap. You know what I'm saying? Didn't give it a thought. Somebody's still blowing up fireworks. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I just didn't give it a thought. And uh, But now, since I know my life is uh, <laughs> on the uh, uh, bottom rung of getting ready to run out, yeah, I, I enjoy every single moment. You know, whether it's good, bad, ugly, beautiful, painful, you know, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I've tried to do a lot here at Dark Horse this summer. You know, trying to make up, uh, you know, for the last... Uh, couple of years where I wasn't able to do nothing yeah and then uh, I'll be damned I was carrying some damn sodas into the house and hurt my damned arm and it's like how does that work yeah it's like yeah when you pull your back you know you, you bend over and put your tennis shoe on and all of a sudden you've got this uh strain in your lower back and you're laid up for six weeks and it's like oh my lord you know <clears throat> so you know, after all the stuff i've did here at dark horse and uh you know, planting plants and placing statues and all that you know a couple you know just a few cans of soda can just wreck your entire day and i'm thinking how does that work, <laughs> you know? And that's just the way it goes, guys. But, uh, nah, I just wanted to, nah, I just wanted to share uh, a moment with all you guys, and uh, I know sometimes I talk too damn much, and maybe I, you know, philosophize. Ah, uh, sorry, without my teeth, I can't pronounce it right, you know, but, uh, yeah, Sometimes I guess I express myself too much about how I think life should be, you know. And, uh, but you know, it's, uh, we're all human and we all make mistakes and we all have good days, bad days, and, uh, you yeah, know, and that's just life. And, you know, but to me, if you sit down at the end of the day, take a deep breath, exhale, and let the day's events just kind of roll off 
your shoulders and just realize that tomorrow is a brand new day and hopefully things will be better guys that's all you can do you know what I'm saying and uh, that's the best way I look at it you know and this right here for me sitting under this old uh, sitting on this old port swing <clears throat> that was covered in dust for about 16 years I'll be honest with you this is my happy place don't get me wrong I love that hut <laughs> yeah and uh yeah, that was a big improvement to Dark Horse. And, uh, but putting this old swing up and me being able to see the sunset and the stars, I can sit out here until 1 o'clock in the morning, you all, and just listen to all the uh, creatures that uh, God has made. And, yeah, and on cloudless nights, see the moon and see the stars and uh, all that. And, uh, yeah. Here's the old fan. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that. Wind's blowing. The old fan's going good. And right above me, up on the uh, left side of the uh, swing here, there's a catbird nest. And I'll tell you what, that dude there, uh, he is off the chain. <laughs> I mean, he will run a squirrel. It's funny. I mean, he'll get after a squirrel. He'll chase that squirrel about 80 feet across the road and into the next neighbor's yard. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm hoping uh, he will give me a reprieve since I like to sit here on this swing and uh, not give me a hard time because his nest is only about uh, nine feet above my head. Yeah. I mean, I've been lucky so far with the uh, bluebird, and you know, and that that old boy. I tell you what, I've been watching him now for a couple of weeks, and uh, he will chase off any bird he gets near uh, his home. And uh, I got to give him credit; he's uh, he's got some uh, guts, you know. And uh, that's why I try not to mess around the. Uh, the bluebird nest too much because I'm thinking okay he's going to drill me in the back of my skull one day <laughs> you know and uh, but yeah it's, it's just nice out here y'all I mean the breeze is blowing right now the humidity has dropped and uh, yeah I just want to sit out here and enjoy it because you know from my viewpoint this may be the very last day I have on earth you know, and so that's why you know, I'm enjoying the, the you know something simple like the breeze, and I mean this right here. I mean just watching these limbs, you know, move and uh, you know, and the lights here at Dark Horse are beautiful, guys. I mean it's just uh, it's an amazing place, and uh, there's been some updates. There's gonna be some updates, uh, upgrades tomorrow and I'll get those on video at some point in time uh, got out and uh, watered some of the uh, droopy plants in the garden and uh, I replanted some corn and some beans that and the corn is starting to come up uh, the cantaloupe is starting to come up I just planted and uh, so that's going to be uh, interesting but uh, Anyway, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bore you guys. I know you guys have better things to do than listen to me just go on about nothing sometimes. But, you know, I just uh, I appreciate uh, you guys supporting me and I appreciate you guys uh, listening to the music. I appreciate you guys watching uh, the hilarious uh, uh, drunken uh, outdoor vids I do putting furniture together or you know, or a weather vane or whatever and uh, yeah and I appreciate you guys you know, watching the recipes and all that and uh, so it's just uh, means a lot to me that you know I know I've got people out there who do appreciate what I do and like I say I'm not making any money doing this guys I just enjoy uh, you know 
doing things for, you know for people and uh, you know letting them see what my life is about you know and even though how hard your life can be because you're sick you can still get up at the end of the day and in the morning start your day and accomplish something that's good for yourself you know what i'm saying and i, I know it's a struggle and it takes time you know and uh I mean, it took me a while to get up off uh, all the pain meds, and God, they had me on so many pain meds from the damn uh, radiation and chemo. I mean, I was a damn vegetable, I kid you not. And uh, it was horrible. And I just finally made the conscious decision, I do not want to live this way anymore. I mean, I wasn't accomplishing nothing. I was just sitting at the recliner, wasting away every day, and, and I knew you know, I was going to die. Yeah. And so, after I made my last face plant on my kitchen tile floor and busted my damn skull wide open, that was a wake-up call for me, yeah. And so you, know, I called him and I said, "Look, y'all gotta get me off this damn crap." And uh, and so I did. I weaned myself off uh, all the uh, pain meds, and they worked me out a program. I got off of it. Don't get me wrong, you know, I still drink my alcohol, you know, but uh, the pain meds that uh, you know, that, that crap ain't good for you guys. And, uh, yeah, so I was glad to get up off that stuff. And and like I say, this past year, I just made a decision. You know, guess what? I'm going to live my life. I don't give a damn if it kills me. I may drop dead out here in this damn yard trying to do all these plants and the garden and the statues and, you know, trying to keep it up. Yeah, it may kill me, but you know what? At least I'll go out doing something I want to do, you know. But anyway, I'm going to stop preaching. <laughs> I guess I could uh, do a career in that if I wanted to. But anyway, guys, it's a beautiful night. Uh, the sounds are amazing. Uh, we got a crescent moon. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let me see if I can get dialed in here. It's right there. Oh. Yeah, right, it's not going to focus. Nah, it's not going to focus. But uh, anyway, you guys have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe. Yo, and uh, yeah, if you guys have a bad day tomorrow, just think to yourself. It, you know, it, won't, it won't be over. You know, it won't be all day, and it'll be over soon. You get to go home, pop you a beer, mix a drink, or just relax. Do whatever it is you need to do to unwind. And guess what? You go on to live another day, and that's what life is all about. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to get off of here. I'm uh, going to make me a little happy buzz. And right here, oh, God, my arm hurts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I hurt my damn arm carrying some damn drinks in the house. But right here, you ain't gonna be able to see it, but I'm gonna put it in front of the camera. Oh, Lord. Nah, you ain't gonna be able to see it. That's my favorite drink right here. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna take me a sip of that. Ah. What do we say, Dark Horse Nation? Uh, damn. That's good. All right, guys, y'all have a great night, and I will uh, catch you guys later with uh, another uh, video or music or recipe or something like that. And you all take care of yourselves, and good night.